All right, coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Paolo Costa and Vitor Belfort. Every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, he may not have the gold at home to prove it, but many believe on any given Saturday night, you are looking live at the best middleweight on this roster, the Brazilian Paulo Costa, the artist formerly known as Bo Hashinha. But man, has he been erasing UFC competition left and right. His fight against Joel Romero will be one that they are talking about deep into the next century. This man is the total package, and tonight looks to inch one step closer to future UFC gold. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Costa is 29, Belfort is 36. Costa is one inch taller, Belfort will have a five inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 14 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a former UFC light heavyweight champion, Vitor the Phenom. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 13 wins, two losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Paolo, the eraser, Costa! All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out for it. Are you ready? Let's go, all right, here we go. Round one, outstanding matchup with strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight, champ? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match, a kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Oh, a huge block there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Powerful leg kick land. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Nice punch there by Vitor Belfort. Oh, massive kick. Everything behind it. Oh! 
Just misses with the right. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Caught the kick. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh! So just over 20 total strikes have found the mark for Paolo Costa. Got the single collar tie. Couple of uppercuts there for good measure. Punch coming, it's blocked. Tie. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Costa going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing and he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing. Oh! Oh, he dove and he lands. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got to go hurt very bad. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. So a strong five minutes down. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Second round underway. Big kick land. Oh, spinning back fist. Delfort's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Flush right hand is true. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Circling away towards the left now. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Three minutes remain in the round. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Costa gets touched by that kick there. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, single collar tie here. Going orthodox now. Lost as tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Trying to establish that jab once again. Still in this. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch lands. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. Oh. Yes, he didn't like that left hand. What a fight so far. So there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Third round underway. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Costa. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Circling towards the left now. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back in range. striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates difficult space to land these beautiful ground ball combinations. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Costa's punch to the body looked pretty good, but ultimately it gets blocked by the defense. Nice job there. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display. It looks like, like it did stun him a little bit. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Fighter trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. He's attacking on bar now. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. So he submits him with the armbar. How about that? Great job. Great performance. Vito Belfort has done it again! All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 32 seconds of round number three.
declaring the winner by tap out, Vitor the Phenom Battlefall. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler.